All right, so what we're doing now is we're uh, waiting for a quick break here in traffic. Let this uh, Nissan go by. I'll whip a U-turn here. We've got a guy that works at this plant right here called Sapa, right off the freeway. They've got a security checkpoint during the daytime so you can't get into the property without being uh, authorized to get in there. That's their little checkpoint gate right there. The weird thing is at night you can drive right onto the property, but I've been down here at night and not been able to find our gray Tahoe. So what I'm doing now is during the daytime, we're gonna pull over off the freeway here and we're gonna go on foot. We're gonna walk along this parking lot right here see if we can see our Tahoe. I'm gonna wait for this band of cars to get by me so I can get out. part of the job being creative using different tactics to figure out when and where people are we know for a fact that he's working at this place we verified his employment as well as his finance company's verified his employment so we know he still works here we're just trying to figure out whether he's driving the vehicle here or whether he works days or nights I've driven all the way around this property, so I know that there's only parking in this area right here. This is where he would be parked if he was here with the Tahoe. I am not seeing it. All the way down here to the end, make sure we see every last vehicle. Yeah, our Tahoe is not here. So now what we've done is we've eliminated one more location that he could possibly be at with the vehicle during the daytime. We've checked the skip address during the daytime, and we've checked the skip address during the nighttime. So, running out of options on this one. Okay, so we ran a DMV on the Tribeca, and it is no longer registered to the finance company. It looks like they may have lost their lien. We uh, got a place of employment, which is that Krispy Kreme right there, for the Black Denali. And it turns out the guy works there in the mornings and works at the Village Inn in the evenings. And so we've checked both of these locations. It's two, almost three o'clock right now. So we checked both locations and we're not finding our Denali there. And uh, so now we're gonna head over here to the mall parking lot to check for a double header on an Ford F-150 and a Chevy GM, or a GMC Sierra pickup truck for another debtor. It's just endless. We just got all the garbage coming over right now. We're doing a lot of skip tracing. and uh, You can always tell when they get, you know, end of the month comes, you get flooded with a bunch of repos, you'll pick up a bunch of stuff, and then right after that, the very beginning of the month will happen, and you'll get all this residual garbage that'll come over all the ones that they've we've either previously worked them in the past 
or they'd given them until the 30th or 31st of the month previously and then uh, they don't follow through and then they send it over and by that time the people have moved or they've lost their job or their cell phone's disconnected. So that's why I call it the garbage because most of the information about the accounts is not good anymore and we end up having to do what I'm doing right now which is spending most of our day running around checking addresses, checking places of employment, talking to family members, the real work, the stuff that uh, separates us from the tow jockeys. So that's the village inn right there. Like I said, we've already checked the parking lot for it and we have verified that he does work there in the evening. So we'll come back by and check it again later tonight and see if our black Denali doesn't show up. But right now we're heading over to the mall. See if we can't find our, one of our two trucks. All right, so we were just leaving the uh, mall parking lot. Didn't find either one of our trucks there. And as I was coming down this main road, State Street, I passed a black Denali sitting right on the road here. And it is our Denali that we are looking for, for the guy from the Krispy Kreme Village Inn place of employment. Looks like he's at some kind of a loan place. We gotta wait for this traffic to clear. I'm gonna pull across the road here. We are backwards with traffic, but I need to get to the ass end of that thing and quickly. I gotta get my arm ready. to have it already partially extended out as I back up to this thing because I'm going to need to jump out and hook this quick. You've got to call them. Oh, yeah, give them a call. Looks like we caught him over here at a loan center getting a loan and he came running out the front door and was like, I got the money, I got the money. <laughs> I'm sure you do, but uh, that doesn't change our job, unfortunately, because we're not uh, bill collectors, we're vehicle collectors. 
so he's on the phone right now with the finance company talking to them hopefully he can work out a deal to make the payment right now that way I can drop the vehicle and not have to take it from him and again we get paid you know the customer gets to keep their vehicle but uh, we'll wait here for a few seconds to see what happens and if he's not able to take care of it then we'll get keys from him and haul it out of here that was a good heads up right there driving down the road reading license plates that's why we memorize license plates right there boom All right, so he wasn't able to come up with the uh, full amount of the payment uh, for the finance company this time, so I'll pull over here into this parking lot. And since it's a Denali, we got to throw dollies on it. And we'll get it all strapped down and get lights on it, and then we'll get it transported. And the keys were actually in the ignition. And he's like, you got the llaves? And he pointed at the vehicle, and I went back over and looked at it keys are in the ignition even so there's an easy stack though I guess that was a good heads up too so we'll get this one uh, transported and we'll see what else we can do today